provided you're successful in defeating aging, uh, I mean, currently our population is about 6.7 or say roughly 7 billion people and there's some estimate which say that by the 2050s we'll be looking at over 9 billion. Provided you're successful at defeating aging, say about the 2050s or so, how do you think would that impact on issues such as uh, uh, climate change, environmental degradation, overconsumption of resources, and so on and so mm -hmm. on? The argument right. is, of yeah, course, I mean, that our is, uh, plan planet cannot uh, sustain uh, that amount of humans. And therefore, if they live indefinitely right. or for a thousand years, it would get even worse. Right. And this is a question that comes up all the time, of course. Um, but there are really two rather strong answers to it. The first one is, if one looks at the trajectory of global population, it is actually only affected rather slightly by the death rate. Actually, less than half as many people die each day as the number of people that are born. and. Remember, even if we were to completely eliminate all death, just like that, tomorrow, um, still, people are only getting older at one year per year. So all we would have to do would be halve the birth rate, um, and we'd be done. You know, we'd still have a declining, a declining global population. Now, of course, halving the birth rate is not trivial, but if we look at what's happened in the world over the past few decades, we can see that most of the areas of the world in which the birth rate was high have indeed more than halved their birth rate already. So it's not nearly such a problem as you might think. The other thing, however, which I think is a much stronger, an even stronger argument about this, is an argument based on choice. The question is here, should we develop these therapies sooner rather than later? Because let's face it, they're going to get developed at some point. Should we develop them sooner rather than later? And I say that it's perfectly clear that we have a moral obligation to, deliver, to develop them as soon as we can, simply because the sooner we develop them, the sooner people, the sooner, sooner humanity of the future will have the choice whether to use those therapies or not. And if we delay and prevaricate and say, oh dear, overpopulation, let's not go there, then what we're doing is condemning a whole cohort of, of human population to an unnecessary early and unnecessarily painful death when we could have saved their lives. And it seems very clear to me that we have absolutely no right to do that. We have a duty to develop these therapies. Let's face it, people just don't want to get sick. And most people are pretty keen on not getting sick, even if it involves other sacrifices in their life, like, for example, not having as many kids as they would otherwise be interested in having. 